An online platform that's making science and math fun and engaging for kids on today's Common Good, sponsored by Nature Made. Hey y'all and welcome to Common Good, I'm Alejandro Alba. For today's story, how Generation Genius is helping teachers around the country engage, entertain, and educate their students about STEM. Hey, my name is Dr. Jeff Vineker and I'm the founder of Generation Genius. We make exciting, fun science lessons for kids in today's schools. The mission statement of Generation Genius is to inspire kids in STEM. It's basically like a streaming platform for schools. They can access all our science videos and lessons. The videos are super fun, basically television quality, and it comes with lesson plans, teacher guides, discussion questions, vocabulary quizzes, everything that a teacher needs to make a really effective lesson. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, yeah. The content we make is for grades K to 8, which is all of elementary school. And we basically break it up K to 2, 3 to 5, and 6 to 8. Because each age group has like a different way to teach them. But today, kids have more content than ever, from Netflix and Disney Plus to TV shows, YouTube. It probably has millions of hours of content. But what they don't have is really high quality content in schools. You probably remember being a kid 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago and uh, seeing just the most boring videos in school. And unfortunately, that was largely the case uh, even five years ago, that's when I saw an opportunity. Like, wow, there is almost nothing really, really engaging in schools, yet outside of schools there's so much. So we set out to bring that kind of entertainment, engagement, with jokes and music that relates to them, and the pace and the, the way the co-hosts interact, and all of that stuff that is kind of already out there from the rest of the world, try to bring that into schools. What was that? Our lessons are made in partnership with the National Science Teaching Association, or NSTA, and that's the organization that has helped set the standards for the United States and what the different states need to teach in order to you know, pass their tests and, and, and so on. Teachers have responded very, very positively to our videos and lessons because it covers exactly what they're teaching in class. If they're covering the water cycle, phases of the moon, ecosystems, we have a lesson on every single topic we teach. In fact, we have 100% of the topics from the next generation science standards, which is what most of the country uses. You don't need hundreds of thousands of videos like a Netflix to, to be useful. The teachers only need, most of them only need 36 videos. Teachers have no time to browse YouTube and put together their own lessons and their own quizzes. This basically saves them time and helps inspire their students. The average video is 12 minutes long, and we do that on purpose. So we like to say that before you teach the kids, you first have to capture their attention. So we do that with two different kinds of experiments. So one is the big flash ones, making things fizz, bubble, explode, change colors, levitate. It's almost like magic. And to a kid, if, you, if you've never seen something erupt into a, a, a giant ball of foam, like your jaw drops. You wanna know how did that work? And then we also have the other kind, the DIY experiments, which are, you know, you need uh, salt, pepper, water, a bottle, and then you can make something happen yourself, hands on. <laughs> Generation Genius is about four years old, and we're now used in about 30% of all elementary schools in the United States. About three million students are watching our content every single week, and sometimes they write to us or their teachers, and that's really exciting. We started Generation Genius to get kids interested in science in as, as big a way as we can. We wanna expand further and reach more kids, so we just translated everything to Spanish, and so that'll reach a lot of kids in, in America that uh, speak Spanish as their first language, and we also wanna take it beyond. Can that go to uh, Mexico and Canada uh, and beyond? We wanna just grow it as, as big as we can, reach as many kids and inspire them in science. Our See Good Do Good Challenge this week is to think of ways to make education fun and engaging for the kids in your life. After all, whether big or small, one act of common good can change the world. Thanks so much for watching Common Good.